fine? Yes. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Sir? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis! <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! Oh. It's moving! Oh. Are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat immediately! The Mekonis is about to awaken! Damn it! I was counting on you, runt. What's happening? It's like we're... Floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Maynus, you have awakened once more. This light. Was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Maynus, where's Fiora? It's okay. I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado. Saved us. Now he's... The Mechonis! Where's Egil? Shulk, do you hear it? The awakening of the Mechonis. This is my pain. The pain of my people, echoing through the millennia. Fall to your deaths, worthless insects! Stop this! Kalyan and the others are still on the sword! Our friends are going to die! Stop! <laughs> Murdering monster is gonna pay! Uh, uh, Atharon! Fiora? <sighs> Sorry. I can't do it. <sighs> Fiora! One, but we made it. <laughs> Alvis, you are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. Hey! Ah, what a stroke of luck! You're still alive, Dixon. So you were unable to stop Egil. <sighs> Sorry, Father. 
I have failed you, Venea. There's no need to apologize. <laughs> so, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Eggle's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother, there is still time. Fiora? No, you're... So it is her. The Mekonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Mekonis fully adapts to the ether. Egil is at the core of the Mekonis. He will be controlling the Mekonis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Mekonis. But how are we to get there? The Mekonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mekonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. When you are ready to depart for the Mekonis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the... There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hand, Shulk. I know. Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles. The Laconis is awoken. I think it's really cool how you can see it moving right now. Um... Okay, so cool. Alright, I think maybe there might be stuff we can buy now. I, I just want to check the shop real quick. Also, hey, look. Heart to heart. Can't do it because I'm stupid. Wait, there's multiple shops? Oh, hold on. Hold, hold on. What? Since when has there been two? Okay. Fine. I don't have this. I need to start buying all of these uh, art books real quick, because I realized Fiora doesn't really have very many art books, and I really just wanted to buy all of them for her. What do you need? Okay, here we are. Spear break, final flicker, summon ice, say sorry, peekaboo, power effect, drive boost, demon slayer. Okay, good. We have all these now. Maybe I should check the armor as well, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Just quickly, real quick. Hold on. Alright, check skill trees. Dunban now has critical drain. Restores HP when dealing a critical hit. Okay, I think I'd rather improve his uh, agility. Alright. Now that I have bought some things. I'm just gonna say this real quick. 
You might want to go deal with those side quests that have the clocks on them. I mean, now we can't even go back to Agniritha, so that's the thing. Actually, yeah, I can just go ahead and show you that real quick. You can't go back to Agniritha because the entire city is freaking destroyed. So, remember all those side quests for Alchemoth and everything, like, that has the clock on it? You might want to go do that now. Because of, uh, some things. Those will become unavailable very soon. So go deal with those now. <sighs> but, now I'm gonna go in here and talk to this guy. You all set to go? We're heading to the Mechanist Core. You better be ready. You really ready to head off? Go to the Mechanist Core. Do my eyes deceive me? The Mechanis is moving. Oi, you! I'm warning you. You better not drop me. You let me go, and you'll be doing sit-ups for the rest of your life. Yes, Colonel. Venea, I am sorry. For Lady Manus' will to be realized, I had no choice but to use your body. Even so... Actually, I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <laughs> Where is Lady Manus now? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into her heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but it's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus' feelings, and I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Maynath is glad that she met you. Yeah, I know. Shook, good news from His Highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Here upon Ricky, all set. Ricky, bounce some heads. We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Really? You're a tough old timer. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Uh, let's see who makes it through that battle.
We're here. Everyone ready? Ready. Anytime. Leave it to Hero von Ricky. <sighs> hey, Shulk. What is it this time? Stop worrying and come on. The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You're talking about that apocryph... whatchamacallit thing. Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. The core is directly linked to the Apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the Apocrypha field will deactivate, allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> Looks like you'll get your wish. Something's not right. What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who... devastated Mechonis. What did he mean? He was just trying to get to you. I told you before, right? I haven't had any visions lately. Yeah? But I still know... If I concentrate... I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. <gasps> what are you on about, Shulk? Stop playing around. Oh. But... How did you do that? I can't work it out. Ever since we came to Mechonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? <laughs> if it's true that Zanza used the Monado to lay waste to Mechonis, then... Is it right for me to use it? Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Shulk! control of the Monado has always been flawless. It never crossed my mind that this would happen to you too. Are you sure you're okay? Perhaps you are suffering this much because you put all your energy into fighting the effect of the Apocrypha. Haven't you learnt yet, Shulk? How many times do I have to tell you? If something's up, you've got to spit it out, man. I ain't just talking about visions. I mean, whatever's on your mind. All right? Mm. S sorry. Right. Don't go apologizing. It's my fault for not noticing. Let's get one thing straight. I've still got your back. Uh, thanks. No. Huh? Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. This wasn't caused by the Apocrypha. It's a completely different kind of power. Shulk! What's... happening to me? I know I should be glad we made it this far, but if we don't find the Apocrypha generator soon... Exactly. The fight against Egil's not going to be easy with the Monado in its current state. And we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. It's up ahead. Shulk? There's a strong energy coming from up ahead. That has to be it. Really? Yes. Then this is it. Egil's gonna be scrap metal when I'm through with him. to say I'm very happy I gave Charlotte glasses 
they suit her well. Anyway, um, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, you know what? No, I'm just gonna play. <laughs> Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't end yet. I'm gonna walk a little further into this. I mean, this would be a great place to end the episode off. Not gonna lie. But I wanna walk a little farther. Just to see what we're getting into next time. Yeah. Yeah. This area is big. Can I please just jump down here without dying? Yes. Got it. Awesome. Oh, there is railing. Okay. Okay, it's just very unnoticeable. Okay. Yeah, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we're going to be walking ahead just a bit farther. See you guys next time.